Hello and how is everyone doing today? Welcome to the channel. If you're new, if you're returning, if you're glad to have you back and welcome to another episode of Fallout 4. In the last episode, we finally, after months and months, searching high, searching low, searching different lands such as Far Harbor and Nuka Cola World, we have found our sunshine. But it wasn't all sunshine, roses, and rainbows. It wasn't a happy, a happy meeting. First off, he tricked us using a child synth to get a very emotional reaction out of us. A very terrible, terrible thing to do. Disgusting, if I may say. And then we learn that he is the leader of the evil institute called our mother well collateral damage basically i didn't grow up with her not my problem knew that kellogg was ruthless and terrible but continued to work with him even upgraded him with cybernetic implants and continued to use him even though he got worse and worse his excuse, well, we would you rather us send him out to the wasteland? Or would you rather us keep him on a tight leash? I'm pretty sure if you had the entire synth army go against Kellogg, they would eventually take him down. There is no excuse. And he kept pushing us. Well, give me, give the Institute a chance. Join us. We are on the brink of something amazing. I'm not going to join him. I don't agree with him. I do not like what my son has become. But in today's episode, we are going to meet, meet the rest of the head of the divisions. Um, we're going to try and convince Madison Lee to return to the Brotherhood to work on uh, <coughs> a secret project of sorts and we also <coughs> if we can get it done in this episode it may have to be in the next episode we also have to go and try and get Virgil's um, serum we gotta remember that so grab your drinks grab your snacks let's get into this okay so um, we have a few places that we need to go to. Um, I, the one thing I will admit about the Institute is that it does look very nice. Um, I mean, <coughs> obviously, though, because this is all... Uh, hasn't been touched by the war, right? Um, no visible reaction to the K-14 mm -hmm. compound. We'll start the next trial, then. The dosage will be much larger this time. And the side effects will likely be more pronounced. Will there be any pain? I honestly don't know. I suppose it's your job to find out. Now hold still. There. All done. You can return to your duties. And remember to record every symptom you experience in detail. I hope I'll prove a useful test subject for you, Doctor. Mm-hmm. Father has done remarkable things. I would not exist were it not for him. Take good care of yourself, and hmm. you won't have to see too much of me. Interesting. Okay, so Your let's... Your presence um, here is a great gift, not just to Father. Okay, let's to go Father. this way. What is it? Uh, bioscience. Okay, let's go here first. It's very, one thing I've noticed, it's very cult-like. If it wasn't for Father, I would not be here. Basically, I'll pray to Father. Obviously, they don't say I'll pray to Father, but it's essentially how they're coming off. Um, <coughs> I guess this is just a back room. There's nothing here. Okay. So, let's see what is in here. My latest reports on Batch 274. Not yet. I've been reviewing Father's plans to expand our operations at Warwick. He's eager Wait, to get Warwick. 
so I've had to put everything else to one side. I wonder how the Warwick family is doing. Young Wally must be close to ten years old by now. What the hell? Remarkable that any child can survive for so long up there, don't you think? I... I try not to think too much about it. We have more than enough to occupy ourselves here. Those people are... Dr. Holdren's synth gorilla project. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. So it's best not to dwell on the subject. There's still people, and they're suffering. We can at least admit that it's regrettable. After all, how can we hope to redefine mankind if we can't even hold on to our own humanity? Well, that's a question best left to our colleagues in the robotics division. Yes, uh -huh. well... Uh, no. He had I the point. You're right. But what about the work family? We're all looking forward to working with you. The latest synth generation is just amazing. Those guys in robotics are working miracles. Please just talk to Clayton to here. Specimens in the if I can, if they don't all stop talking to each other. Doc. Finally. Welcome. So good to have you here. Dr. Clayton Holdren, head of the bioscience division. I can't wait for you to see the work we're doing. It's truly amazing. Uh, what work? Like what? I was just about to explain that. As the name implies, the bioscience division specializes in fields of study such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. You probably saw the gorillas. They're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. The gorillas aren't even real? The gorillas are synths too? They are indeed. Judging by your reaction, we've done a good job making them seem lifelike. The initiative is still in its early stages, but the prospects are very exciting. I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is. But I have to ask, <clears throat> have you decided whether you'll join us? Uh, not sure yet. I'm not sure. Right now, I'm just trying to keep an open mind. It's a big decision, I know. But it's also a rare and important opportunity. No need to rush to judgment. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or, if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Um, I don't... You know what? Synth gorillas. Tell me more about those synth gorillas. On the whole, I'd say they were a success. Their behavior does generally match what our historical data says it should be. Unfortunately, we had a few early setbacks. The creatures can become suddenly aggressive, and they're quite strong. They destroyed two of their synth handlers. So now we keep them in an isolated habitat where they can be safely observed. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about making synth animals too. At what so point, much research. You know, so at, at, at what point do, you know, it, it does really feel like that they're trying to replace every single body person and every animal. You know, <laughs> they're, the Commonwealth spheres are, you know, they're, I don't blame them. I don't blame them from what I'm seeing here. Because what's stopping them from making other animals? Whoa, who are you? Nothing to report, sir. Well then, uh, you're scary. Bye-bye. <laughs> um, okay, so what else do we got here? Uh, what is this? Synth Retention Bureau. Oh, protocol, sir. Authorized personnel only. So Dr. Ayo thinks he can hide in his office, does he? Well, you can tell him that I intend to speak to Father about these unannounced security sweeps of yours. Ransacking my quarters in the middle of the night is totally unacceptable. I'll pass along your message, Doctor. See that you do. When the lights go down and the stars come out, man just forgets about all his troubles. But you guys don't see any stars. Okay. So this place here, the Synth Return Retention Bureau, is literally the place where, as you see that courser, um... This is the area where they send the courses out to retrieve um, the escaped ones. Basically, 
you know, this is where their organization area part is. Scanner. I can't really talk What's properly. <laughs> Report anything suspicious to, to the knock SRB. Some heads together. What now? They're dragging their feet on the targeting package upgrades I asked for. Okay, get out of Maybe the way. Maybe I should take some courses with me. You know, send a message. Mm, please don't. There's enough friction as it is between us and pretty much all the other departments. You going soft on me, Pardon Alana? me, sir. My methods get results, and they will this time as well. Excuse You'll me, see. I've got reports to deliver. Okay, let's the director should take the synth escapes more seriously. If the robotics division was a little more careful, well, they wouldn't pretty have high synths up. trying to escape. Yeah, they're all pretty high up angles. Uh, that's pretty suspicious. Who like any you? machine, a synth can malfunction. Just wish it didn't happen so often. Okay, so where is the leader here? Good to see you. Hi, Doc. So, here you are. Just an AO. Acting Director of the Synth Retention Bureau. I'll be upfront with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Despite your relation to father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. I'm sure you understand. There won't be any issues, will there? Well, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll find out. Indeed. Now, father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of the Synth Retention Bureau. Our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped synths, that are hiding among the human population on the surface. Yeah, just let them go. Or, you know, secret police. That's pretty much what they are. So basically, you're the secret police. Secret police? If that's a pre-war reference, then I'm afraid it's lost on me. Our main instrument is the Courser, a third-generation synth assigned to operate on the surface. Coursers hunt down and reclaim synths that have escaped the Institute. They are highly self-sufficient, Trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, our coursers are relentless. But I gather you know all this, since you've encountered one already. In fact, I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. Nope, I'm not going to tell you. Got lucky, combat experience doesn't matter. Why does it matter? If there is some defect in courser combat programming, then it must be identified and corrected. I suppose I'll have to ask robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. As if we don't have enough problems. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work. Um, reclamation progress. I'd like to know more about the synth reclamation process. Fine. Once a courser has located a rogue synth, it uses that synth's recall code to wipe its memories and render it inert. We then begin the delicate process of restoring the neural pathways to their original configuration. In those cases where the procedure is successful, the synth returns to duty with no memory of its time on the surface. All too often, we're unable to repair the damage and are forced to dispose of the unit entirely. Wow. So basically, <clears throat> you're not doing what we said, so, and we can't uh, wipe your memory. So we literally just, as Nick Valentine says, just throw you in the trash. Rumor is they're really not making a very good. A um, initiative soon. Hello. They're really, they're really not making a good. Um, I can't think of the word. Um, basically, they're not looking very good. Synth relay grenade. I'll grab all these. Grab all these. Grab those. Black Institute lab coat. Okay, that's cool. Um, okay, what do we got here? Spanner, sensor, applicator, recorder. So what does the Black Institute suit look like? Um, or is it just the white and black? Yeah, okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. <sighs> Yeah, they're not making a very good um, case for themselves here. That's the word I was thinking of, case. Operating at full capacity. Also, because we couldn't find a good note or computer or anything, so those uh, computer screens that show high images of like high places, 
uh, all the crows and birds that we see in the Commonwealth are actually all um, Institute uh, cameras. So the Institute is literally constantly spying on the Commonwealth. The Commonwealth has, has been pretty much under the Institute's thumb for probably, I don't know, just as long as they've been <coughs> uh, creating the sense for, I, I don't know when, but just for many, many, many years, I guess, you know, they're really, really not good, even though they look wonderful and whimsical, the music and everything seems so nice <coughs> and good and ever, you know, but they're really not good. She's been at it for over two hours. What is she even testing? Nothing. At this point, she's just doing it for fun. Okay, so what do we got in here? Oh. More synth relay grenades. Another institute pistol. Well, that was productive. Sleep is such a waste of time. I'd rather be designing more efficient plasma emitters. Is there anything? No. Rushed work is sloppy at best and deadly at worst. Okay, so... Oh, wait, we got a computer right there. Can we read the computer? Terminal. Okay, let's see here. Um, <clears throat> personal notes. Um, I have... In the last 24 hours, I've observed no less than seven blatant violations of Institute protocol, the degree of which people appear to ignore the rules which have been put in place to keep us all safe is incredibly disappointing. Madison insists that I continue the testing battery. Oh, continue testing. Wow. Madison insists that I continue the testing battery with the Johnson's despite my reservations about the project as a whole. If this were any other situation, I would not have a second thought <coughs> about going straight to the director. But given the circumstances, I shall simply wait it out. Uh, regulation updates. Um, review permissions for assigning sidearms to personnel, blah, blah, blah. Okay, it's not really important. <coughs> okay. Uh, review access logs. Okay, so I guess we get to finally see Dr. Lee again. There she is, Dr. Lee. Oz Madison Lee. That's so cool. Excuse finally. me, Dr. Lee? Oh, it's you. You're not authorized to be here. And it's the same voice actress, too. This is really awesome. Um, looking for you. Actually, I was looking for you. Me? Why? Uh, sent by the Brotherhood. I've been sent by the Brotherhood of Steel to find you. You don't beat around the bush, I'll give you that. I knew it was just a matter of time before your people would track me down. I've been looking over my shoulder for almost a decade, waiting for them to send someone like you to kill me. Wait, what? We're not gonna kill you? Uh, good and dead. Wait, dead? Why? Why would we want you dead? I did some pretty sensitive work for the Brotherhood of Steel. Even though Lyons let me go, there were a few others in the ranks that thought I knew too much. That's why I came to the Institute. It was the only place that I thought I'd be out of the Brotherhood's reach and still be able to do my research. Hmm. Since Father trusts you, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. I might not agree with everything he says, but I know he'd never allow harm to come my way. Say what you came here to say and then leave me alone. Um, well, the Brotherhood needs your help. Or we can do happy here. So you know what we'll do? We're going to... Because uh, <clears throat> I want to try both. So we'll quick save here. And, uh, happy Are you here. happy here? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I am surrounded by cutting-edge laboratory equipment and some of the greatest okay, so that, lines. The, where are you? Okay, so, so that <laughs> persuasion check failed. Um, so we'll just do the Brotherhood one. Yeah, right. Let's just... Uh, Redo this. Uh, Brotherhood needs your help. The Brotherhood needs your help, Doctor. Needs my help. 
Why? They seem to have everything under control when I left. Ah, uh, the Brotherhood values you. The Brotherhood valued your presence, and we'd like you to come back. Well, how sweet of them. Tell me something. Why would I possibly want to come crawling back to the Brotherhood? What reason would I have to throw away everything I've accomplished here? Badmouth Institute, following orders, yeah, you know. The Institute is deceiving you. So now you're just gonna hurl baseless accusations to get what you want? Come on, you can do better than that. Uh, trust me? <laughs> Father trusts me, and so should you. He trusts you because you're family. I'm not. I can't just take your word for it. I need more than that. Uh, we don't lie. The Brotherhood has always been straight with you. I am getting a bit tired of all the secrets around here. Sometimes I feel like Father isn't being straight with me. Like there are things I'm not supposed to know about. I don't like that. But still, how can I turn my back on all of this? Uh, free the Commonwealth. I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pass that check, but let's see what happens. Your work could be instrumental in freeing the Commonwealth. You're wasting your breath. I'm a scientist, not a soldier. The Brotherhood desired my creations in order to destroy, to take control. I'm not interested in returning to that way of life. Uh, well, what would it take? I give up. What would it take to convince you? All right, I'll play your game. I had a colleague down here, a Dr. Virgil. Oh, Several Virgil. months ago, there was an accident in his lab, and he was killed. I wanted to help with the investigation, but Father had the laboratory sealed, saying that it was contaminated. The incident never sat right with me. The more I asked about it, the more I felt like Father was deflecting my questions. If you bring me solid information on what killed him, I'll take it as a favor from the Brotherhood and consider your offer. Do we have a deal? <coughs> uh, Virgil's still alive. I know this may come as a shock, but Dr. Virgil is still alive. I met him myself. <laughs> oh, please. Do you really think a cheap tactic like that is going to work on someone like me? Stop trying to avoid the legwork by lying. Either you get me the evidence, or we have nothing else to talk about. Deal? But, literally, I mean, I guess she doesn't really have any reason to believe us, so I guess it kind of makes sense, but okay, so we'll do it. Deal. All right. Dr. Virgil's lab was in the Biosciences Division. I can give you a code that will get you into the section, but the lab itself has been sealed, so you'll have to breach it on your own. I'd tell you to be quiet about it, but your brotherhood and discretion isn't exactly your strong suit. <laughs> and finally, if you get caught, we never had this conversation. Now, for the sake of keeping up appearances, let me see that pit boy of yours. I've been told to install a coarser chip in it for you. Father's orders. You're to be given full access, with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute at will. Oh, damn. <clears throat> well, thank you. Thank you. I'm sure that'll come in handy. Given that the relay is the only way to access the Institute, handy is something of an understatement. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Speaking of, I trust our discussion will remain between the two of us. Now, I need to get back to work, and I'm sure you have other things to do. Okay, you can now fast travel to the Institute. Awesome. Okay, so institutionalized. Nice. All done. Um, I kind of wish I had a little bit more plasma ammo. Um, I mean, I guess I can buy some more before we secretly go, <coughs> excuse me, secretly um, go and um, try and find the uh, evidence, whatever it's called. Um, okay, how do I get out of here? Synth retention, talk to father. I'm going to get that, um, the evidence first. Okay. <coughs> Hopefully we can find it in what, 10 no, 20 minutes? Yeah, 20 minutes. All right. When are you um, going to tell me about this mysterious face? So much research. No, I can't so little time. 
Um, bioscience. <coughs> Just as you gave life hey. to Father, I have a variety of items that should prove useful us. in your surface missions. Sure, let's take a look. Okay, how much? Oof. Uh, oh, I can sell the Institute pistols. That'll help. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, oh, man. Okay, well, at least I can have two, so that's good. Okay, um... From within, get the evidence for Dr. Lee. <coughs> okay, so I guess... Oh, it's in bioscience, okay. Oh, right, yeah. Because that's what uh, Virgil was. He was in the bioscience division. so many FEV lab what the hell oh yeah right uh, uh, Virgil said that they were experimenting with the FEV yeah I forgot about that I was a little confused for a second so that's why the super mutants are all over the commonwealth because <coughs> basically the institute has been screwing around with the fourth evolutionary virus and after they make super mutant they literally it. just they literally just throw it up on the surface. Oh, God. Okay, so we have to be really careful because it's pretty dangerous here. As you see, they put traps and everything because they don't want people to know anything about this. As you can see, just everything is destroyed and run down. Yes. Okay, is there anything? Okay, so I guess there's nothing really in here. Oh, it's infusion cells, that's useful. <clears throat> okay, let's see here. So we got, oh geez. Sensor alert. Detected. Okay. <laughs> Negative sensor read. Weapons cold. We, can, we don't need the terminal, which is good because we have an advanced lock. Whoops. Advanced lock pick, so we can do this easy. Because I can't remember what level our uh, That's science, it. Skill, science skill is. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh. I remember doing this on hard the very first time because I think I played Fallout 4 on hard my first playthrough. And oh my god, was this part really hard. Look at all this stuff. We got so much stuff here that we can just literally just grab. <coughs> Some <coughs> wrench modifications that we're probably never going to use. Okay. Whoops. 
Okay, so are we near the sign? Okay, so I think we're finally near the science part of it, whatever. And there we go. Nice. Whoa. Lab code. <clears throat> Fusion cell. Nice. Course or uniform. I want one of those synth uniform. Well, dead cat. <clears throat> dead uh, synth. Whoa. Oh, I see what this area was. This area was... Um, oh, look at all that blood on the ground. <clears throat> These were holding cells that they would observe uh, test subjects and just watch them. What? Oh, it's right there. <laughs> That explains why there's <clears throat> so much... What the hell? Yeah, that's a super mutant. Sweet. Toy truck. <clears throat> you know, a cat, another toy. So yeah, they were literally... Okay, let's just get rid of this stupid turret. It's really annoying. <coughs> How do I miss every shot? Come on. Yeah, this place is terrible. Locking, you know, turning people into super mutants. And then, like, putting them in here to observe them and watch them. Can I... Oh, requires terminal. Okay. Do I want to know what's on the other side of this door? Really? I've got to wait a few minutes, a few seconds, whatever. There we go. Oh my god, come on. Okay, I finally got in. Holy crap, took quite a bit of time actually. Alright, alright, do I really want to see what's in here? I know we're very, you know, we're very close to, oh my god. They actually have them in tanks and everything, just like the Enclave did. What the hell? What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually end this episode right here. Uh, since we're already half an hour in, um, <coughs> I don't really want to do much anymore and have to rush um i think this is the perfect time to stop right here um wow yeah the institute is definitely evil for sure and uh this really shows it here all right so let's um let's save this up here
Alrighty, so that was today's episode of Fallout 4. Um, I'm really happy we got to see Dr. Madison Lee. That was one thing I got, I wanted to talk about throughout the whole series. It's like, we get to see Madison Lee again. But obviously I didn't want to spoil it. Um, you know. Um, now you guys get to see where all the super mutants and the Commonwealth are coming from. They're coming directly from the Institute in a secret lab that no one really knows about. Um, yeah, as you guys can see, the Institute is not good. <coughs> so, what we'll do is we'll continue our hunting in the next episode. If you did like this episode, feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that fun kind of stuff. And I will see you guys in the next episode. I follow for.